the game which Tal played against uh, Lajo Sportis in the candidate matches in uh, 65. So he started e4, and uh, after some uh, opening moves, not much was going on, some pieces were exchanged, this is a quiet opening position, white is a bit uh, better due to his uh, two bishops, and uh, nothing in fact for both uh, uh, the complicated developments, but with uh, Mikhail Tal, of course you could never know. So, the normal uh, moves uh, are continuing, uh, people are uh, finishing their developments, and um, okay, somewhere around here things uh, are becoming to get interesting. So uh, white, as I said, uh, has two bishops, and his king has already castled. Uh, black has a very uh, solid position, uh, but uh, okay, has to face uh, the two bishops, which is uh, not so uh, horrible here structurally, and has to uh, do something about his king. And uh, if he castles here, then after bishop g5, for instance, he already has uh, to uh, face some uh, dangers. On the other hand, uh, I mean, he can play g6 in order to uh, prevent uh, the threat of uh, mate. But this g6 is also potentially a weakness, and after bishop h6, uh, maybe it will be uh, telling in the long run. And I think Portish wanted to avoid uh, weakening his uh, king at all costs against uh, Tal, and that's why he played knight d5 in order to uh, drive the queen away from uh, um, h4 but it should be also noted that um, uh, his king uh, is still in the center so white played queen g4 now g7 is hanging now once again black can castle uh, but uh, this bishop uh, h6 is uh, very unpleasant to meet because now uh, g7 is hanging and after something like bishop f6 Black has to uh, uh, be aware of the possibility queen e4. And it looks like black is uh, going to lose this. So but so you see, uh, castling uh, now was uh, probably impossible, but Portish, he probably was not concerned so much. Played uh, bishop f6, and um, now he, it seems that uh, he's finally uh, uh, ready to um, uh, castle next move. Uh, but it seems that um, also this uh, is uh, connected to some troubles. Uh, now we see that due to um, one reason or the other, his king is still in the center. White plays uh, rook e1, putting the rook to um, an open file and also indicating that uh, the abode of the king on uh, e8 is uh, uh, not as safe as it uh, might have seemed. And here... Portish, he could have once again considered uh, castling. And um, now if white goes uh, bishop h6, uh, the threat is, as we know, uh, to go queen e4. Uh, because uh, after some normal move, let's say, theoretically queen c7, uh, queen e4, g6, uh, the rook is hanging on f8. So uh, the move then would be probably rook e8. And now uh, Portish, he might he must have been concerned that after something like rook ad1, white has uh, developed all his pieces, uh, brought his uh, rooks to the central files, and then if a b2 is attacked after something like queen b6, he may even consider going uh, bishop c1, after which uh, white has a very harmonious position, everything is developed, and he may uh, start uh, the attack with h4, h5, something similar uh, to what we saw in the game um, of uh, Lasker against Capablanca, uh, in the similar structure. And um, Portish, uh, because of this, uh, played queen b6 at once. Now, this is not a mistake. Uh, Black's position is perfectly all right after this, uh, but this uh, allows uh, Tal uh, to show uh, how he could create attacks out of nothing. And uh, although in this position still uh, it seems that uh, nothing uh, much is going on. Now already we uh, see that uh, there is this possibility that at some point uh, a rook e6 sacrifice could uh, come into consideration. But okay, at the moment it seems that uh, rook e6 is not serious because after f e6, queen e6, something like knight e7, uh, nothing is going on. Uh, but uh, the possibility is uh, there and uh, probably uh, Tal was uh, 
starting to muse about the possible lines and um, I started to consider the sacrifice in um, different uh, positions because uh, otherwise if uh, white doesn't do anything then black would indeed continue uh, with castling next move and then also b2 would be hanging sometimes and it would be not so easy to uh, fight for the advantage so uh, tal makes um, a move uh, about the only move which can prevent uh, black from castling, he plays c4. Now, uh, it looks uh, like a very natural move. On the other hand, it is also uh, a move which is uh, uh, connected to a, a very uh, serious uh, responsibility because uh, now white is uh, basically uh, forced to uh, show something uh, after... Uh, uh, knight b4 because otherwise he's just losing material I mean the bishop is hanging on d3 the pawn is hanging on d4 and um, all this is uh, getting a bit uh, complicated in case of um, let's say knight e7 uh, then uh, white probably would be happy to uh, play bishop e3 threatening d5 to open the position uh, uh, for two bishops and uh, something like queen b2 uh, uh, rook b1 and so on uh, given that the king is still in the center is not so comfortable for black b7 is hanging and on the whole white has uh, a big um, lead in the development so but still it is natural to ask uh, what happens after knight b4 and uh, that's what uh, portish played and um, and here uh, tal uh, stunned uh, the chess world by uh, this uh, sacrifice rook takes e6 and um, we see that uh, black did have uh, the opportunity to castle early in the game and uh, always it was not entirely comfortable but now uh, he was uh, probably sorry that he did not enter some more quiet waters and uh, Portish suddenly had uh, to calculate uh, lines which were pretty unpleasant. Uh, on the other hand, um, as analysis proved afterwards, uh, the sacrifice uh, although fully sound, uh, is not uh, very promising because with the correct defense, uh, black should uh, have uh, no problems uh, to hold the draw. On the other hand, in a practical game, uh, a correct play is always uh, something uh, which is achieved only with great difficulty. And this was also one of the characteristic traits of Mikhail Tal that um, his opponents always found the best defense, but uh, only after the game and um, this game proved to be no different from any others because after taking the rook of course rook has to be taken queen takes e6 now uh, black is a rooker but has to make a very important decision now what to do about the king